All right, team, this is a special video talking about uh, labs, labs for our Math 171 course. So I'm here in student preview, it should be similar to what you're going to see. And we have a lab assignment due every Thursday of the semester uh, until we get to the last week. Last week, we changed things up just a little bit, it's due on a Wednesday. Um, labs require you to show work. So we're just going to look at the first lab together. So you'll see with the lab assignment, there's a spot to enter your answer, and there's a spot to attach your work. Um, attaching work is pretty straightforward. You can choose a file. I'm just going to pick something random. Um, ideally, you want to use a, a picture, ideally a JPEG or a PDF. Um, you can even click on it to preview it. This doesn't have anything to do with this course, just a random thing. I'm sticking in there. Um, work is required. So uh, the computer does not have a way to grade your work. The computer can't tell whether your work is good or not. So um, you will be able to submit your labs up to uh, Thursday evening at 11.55 p.m then I have to go through and grade the work manually. So um, your grade when you submit it will probably be different than the grade that will show after I grade your work. Maybe that grade will be higher, maybe that grade will be lower. Um, I do partial credit on labs, so if you get the question wrong, but your work is really good, then you'll get some credit back. Uh, if you get the question right, and there's issues with your work, then I am going to take points off. Uh, the purpose of the lab is to create a document to benefit your future self. So I want to see a nice, clean, clear work here that you will be able to look back on in five years and 10 years and use as a reference. So if you need to review interval notation or you need to review the domain of a quadratic function, uh, you'll be able to look back on the document you put together here, you'll be able to look back on this in five years or in 10 years and review and figure this out because you have a nice example in your handwriting in your possession that you can keep with you for the rest of your life. Um, so I do have high expectations for your work. I want good, clean work here so that you'll be able to reward your future self. So um, I offer to check your lab work. I am happy to check your lab work. If you will email it to me, I am happy to check it for you. Please email me through your student email account, through Outlook, your student email account. So I did not include this, but let me throw this up quickly. Let's do a blank document here. Um, my email address is gwilsonwithers at forsythetech.edu. If you email me, I am happy to check your lab work. I'm happy to give you feedback. I'm happy to tell you things you need to clean up. Um, having me check, and I'll even tell you, hey, this looks great, go submit it. And if I email you and say this looks great, go submit it, that means you're going to get a 100% on that lab. I'm happy to check it multiple times. So I really encourage you to send me your lab work. Let me check it. Um, I can tell you a session right now, the students that are sending me their lab work are doing much better on the labs than students that are not. So um, I think that's everything. If you have any questions about how labs work, I'm happy to field them. Please just email me and let me know.